Hello, welcome back to the channel. I think it's about time I say thank you. Once again, every single one of you who subscribed, um, fellow men, women, boys, girls, non-binary people, trans, I want to thank everybody who subscribed because we have just reached, not too long ago, 500 subscribers. I didn't expect that. I know it was obvious, it was creeping up, but I didn't think that I was worth that many people's time. I always kind of just looked at my content as lackluster, not great, like I could always do better. But this kind of just shows me that I'm better at what I do than I think I am. Because I try to have fun, I try to give good times, good experiences, try to be cool and have a fun time online. Play games with my friends, I react to videos, I do this, I do that. And after all that content, over 300 videos later, finally reached 500 subscribers. Now, I'm not going to fake cry or anything, but I am happy. I am. Because if I wasn't, I would just completely ignore this. 500 was the next milestone. The previous one was 250. And I know the 250 one was better because I did the cinnamon challenge. I didn't exactly have much I could do. But I'm already pre-planning something now. The next milestone is 750. Let's do 750. At 750 subs, I'm going to only be in my shorts. Hopefully I lose a little bit of weight then so you don't have to see as much of a belly, but... I'm going to fill up my bathtub with ice cubes. Fill it with a bit of water. I got a fucking flea on me. That's weird. Fucking dog fleas and shit. But I'm going to fill up the bathtub full of water, ice. When I fill it with ice, I'm going to turn on the shower and it's only going to be cold water. And I'm going to stay within a cold, cold environment and I have to last 10 minutes. I'm going to do that at 750 subscribers. If I want to or not. But as of right now, because I didn't really have anything planned, like I said, I'm still getting back into the grooves of YouTube after dealing with uh, a lot of shit the past year where I've lost motivation, I've... Dealt with a bunch of shit. But so I guess from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you. I want to say, I want to thank every single person. Because even though I've probably already said it before, probably won't even be the last time I say this. Um, I've never, in the past 10 plus years, I've made YouTube videos. Because I've been making YouTube videos since 2012. I uh, made videos on my dad's account. On my mom's account in 2013, my dad's was in 2012. I had my own account in 2014, James Elife. I've talked about that. Uh, the best YouTube channel I've ever had. Because I will never get those memories back, but I forever will remember them. I can't ever witness them, I can't see them, I can't replay them unless I go to like Wistful's channel. Or Red shows me a few videos he has privated. Or this or that, you know. But I'll always remember them. Always. I won't forget the times I've played Roblox with my friends where we would just constantly want to be on the computer and play games with each other. I'll never forget that. Um, in 2015, I had James E. Life Gaming, Gameplays, and more. Uh, that channel was alright. It was alright. Um, then I think after that, I had a, a lot of really forgettable ones. I had one called JTK that reached only like 17 subscribers, and I was like, yeah... This is gone. We're deleting this. Because <laughs> it was trash. I was only making mobile gaming videos. It was literally... Literally. I would literally play Geometry Dash ripoffs and it reached two views. And I was like, oh, hey, we're set. Two views. Now, obviously, like I said, I don't do anything for views. So if I upload a video and it gets like two views, 
it gets even one, maybe even none. I don't care. I had fun with the video. I uploaded it. If people want to view it, they can view it. If they don't, I'm not forcing anybody to view it. It's there for people's taking. If it, if they're interested in putting their time into my content, I appreciate you. Feel free to do what you got to do. But if people aren't interested in watching my videos, it's like, hey, whatever. Right? Because I do, I do this YouTube thing as a hobby. I never want to earn money from it. I, I want to continue working on myself. IRL. In real life. I want to pull all my shit together. I'm still working on weight loss. Lately, it hasn't been good. The past four days, I've really started slacking. I've really, really, really started slacking. But that's a different story. I'm, I'm getting it back on track. I exercised a little bit today. Uh, I'm going to start definitely pulling myself together. Uh, I can pull myself uh, together mentally much better now because I went back to part-time from when I worked at FedEx because I was full-time all the way since October and I couldn't do it. I just couldn't keep doing it. My body wouldn't adjust. My mindset wouldn't adjust, which made it even harder for my body to adjust. I want to get used to working a certain schedule. While I can have the time to mentally work on myself, I can do this. I can do that. Making my life a hell of a lot easier. And I can still earn money. But from the bottom of my heart, thank all of you. For 500 subscribers, honestly. Honestly. I You have no idea how much I appreciate this. Because it shows that everything I post online is worth something. Of course, there's going to be people who come by who don't like my content. There's going to be people who talk shit about it. I don't care. I used to care. I, I just don't anymore. It's free reign. If people don't like me, so what? They don't like me. If people like me and they come to subscribe, thank you. Because I'm glad that I'm worth people's time. And I mean that genuinely. So thank you for watching. Thank you for 500 subscribers, everybody. I genuinely, genuinely appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next video.